Dan Larson here, and I've stepped over to the photo booth to revisit my top 10 action figures of 2015 so far. Uh, if you want to see how we got to, how I got to this spot, uh, make sure you check out our previous video uh, where I pulled together everything that I had uh, acquired this year so far, up to about a month ago, uh, and uh, went through the process of elimination, lined them all up, and figured out who number 10 was, who number 9 was, 8, 6, five, all the way to number 1. Uh, just a quick recap here, we've got Marvel Legends Captain, uh, Marvel Legends Captain Marvel, Marvel Legends Captain Captain Marvel at number 10. At number 9, Combiner Wars. Uh, actually, she's not part of Combiner Wars. Uh, RC, Transformers RC. Uh, Generations, I guess she's part of. Uh, Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. Marvel Legends uh, Spider-Woman. Number 6 is Superion. Maybe a little bit of a cheat there because he is made up of five different figures, uh, but it's really Superion that I'm putting in the list, uh, not the individual five pieces. Uh, number five is Combiner Wars Megatron. Number four, Combiner Wars uh, Power Glide. Number three, Marvel Legends Spider-Man 2099. Number two, uh, Black Series Boss. And number one, Figuarts, Figuarts, Sentai, Vol Eagle uh, from Sun Vulcan. Uh, again, go check out the other list. Uh, go check out the other video if you want to see how we got to this point. Uh, quite a few figures have come out in the last 30 to 60 days. So uh, I figured I would revisit. And uh, sorry for these guys, but I think quite a few of them are about to get eliminated. Let's get on to it. Rocketeer uh, came out uh, from Funko as part of their Legacy Collection. Uh, Rocketeer is easily going to bounce someone here. So, of course, uh, for now, that means Captain Marvel, you are out. So for now, I'm just going to put Rocketeer uh, at number 10. He may or may not work his way up the chart here. Let's just see how many of these other figures uh, get added to the list here. Viper. Combiner Wars Viper recently came out. He is a crossover figure with uh, the G.I. Joe brand. He's actually, uh, he's essentially Power Glide, but he turns into a Cobra Rattler. They both turn into a pseudo uh, A-10 Warthog uh, style airplane, but this one is actually supposed to be a Cobra Rattler. Um, Power Glide's already on the list. I can't, I can't see putting Viper in uh, and having essentially two of the same figure in there. Uh, recently acquired the Marauder Gunrunners Kickstarter figure. Uh, this was a single pledge figure. I basically just, uh, this is the Kickstarter head on essentially what I figured was a Snake Eyes body. Um, I like this figure, but uh, I don't think he uh, cracks the top ten. We also have Black Series IG-88. Really nice figure. Um, Break the top ten, though. Ugh. Wow, I thought this was going to be easier with all these other figures. I really do like him. I can't say that I like him more than Pizza Spider-Man. I really like that Spider-Woman figure. Oof. Uh, Bosk is pretty fantastic. He's not going to beat these guys. No, I think I'm going to hold off on IG-88, too. I'm going to put IG-88 on this side. This is, this is hard. Black Series Wampa, also, that uh, came with Hoth Luke. Um, I don't think... I don't think he can crack the top ten either. You know what? I thought I thought a lot more of these guys were gonna, gonna break through. One figure I'm positive is getting in here, so somebody's getting bounced. Uh, is Revoltek Boba Fett? Um, now, how are we gonna reorder this? Uh, let's see. We got uh, uh, somebody's got to go, and unfortunately. Even though I had him, look, things change over time. You, you start to live with the figures, you see them on the shelves, you move them around, you, you do Instagram photos, and your opinions of things start to change. And I think, unfortunately, what I'm seeing happening here is not being as much of a Transformers guy. I think some of these Transformers guys are about to get bounced uh, for the flavor of the week. Um, and unfortunately, I think that's going to be... I, I know it makes no sense. You'd think number nine's got to go before number six, but I think Superion is actually getting taken out of here. Powerglide can stay, Boba Fett you're in, but we definitely have to reorder this list. Um, Bosk is really fantastic, but I don't think he's going to hold on to the number two spot here. Uh, in fact, Powerglide, I think you're getting moved down to number ten. RC, you can stay at nine. Spider-Man, you're going to be eight. Spider-Woman, it's number seven. Uh, Combiner Wars Megatron is going to drop down to you know what? I think Bosk is actually going to drop down to number six. That's a pretty big drop. Uh, Combiner Wars Megatron, you're going to be at five. Rocketeer. Rocketeer's going to take the four spot. 
Spider-Man 2099 was number three. I think he's still at number three. And I think Boba Fett's gonna go all the way up to the number two. And I still can't, uh, af after 30 years, it's gonna be real hard for me to uh, take Vol Eagle out of there. Uh, in fact, if I can ever acquire the Vol Shark and Vol Panther, it's very possible that the three of them are gonna take the top three spots. And I think that's, uh, I think that's it. I think we're going to hold there for the, the top ten currently. We've got uh, two figures breaking in, a couple of uh, realigned spaces. You know, I'm not even 100% confident about this. There's been a lot of nice figures this year, and uh, honestly, I think the only thing that's holding Pizza Spider-Man in here is the fact that he came with a slice of pizza. That's my top ten figures of 2015 so far. I'm sure your list is different. Let me know about it in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, and make sure you subscribe, because how else are you going to follow along? How else are you going to know? what Dan Larson's top 10 figures are of 2015 so far. If you don't subscribe, make sure you check out our other videos as well. And of course, I'm always on Instagram at instagram.com slash htfblog. Thanks for watching.